Ow. Oh. <gasps> I can't even see better. <laughs> I, I feel so. I feel good. Welcome to the office. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet what you. What brings you here? Um, maybe like, I don't know, three years ago. Okay. I, I fell. I fell on my, on my bottom. And I did go to the hospital. You fell straight on your butt? Yes. How? Um, I was sitting on a little table. Okay. Like right on the edge of the table. Okay. And I just slipped off. Do I want to ask why? There was no seats. Got it. At a party? Yeah. Got it. Yeah, and then, um, so yeah, I hurt myself, and ever since then, I've just been having all these. Okay. Yeah. So three years ago, you had a fall on your butt, right? Fell off a small table. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you see anybody for it? Um, I did go to the hospital, but... Did they say you broke anything? No, they, they just gave me like a patch, and then um, I just went home. Did they tell you to use a donut pillow? No. No? Where did they put the patch? Um, in my lower back. Low, low? Yeah. Okay. That's your number one reason of being here? Mm -hmm. So for three years, are you starting to get shooting or numbness down your legs now? Really bad. Both sides? Um, yeah, both sides. How long after the fall you started to get the other symptoms? Maybe like a year ago. I started, um, I get like a lot of pain on my neck and my shoulders, like spasms. Okay. Um, to the point that I can't even sleep. I can't eat. I can't. It's just very hard for me. And this was after the fall? Yeah. Prior to that, you didn't have those issues? No. And then I noticed that I also get anxiety. I get like, I don't know. A lot of, I don't know, I've never had that before, so I've been experiencing that and okay. it's very hard for me. You guys have family, kids? Yeah. How many? Uh, we have two. Two? Mm -hmm. How old? Um, 11 and 3. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> I thought I had it crazy. <laughs> Mine's 8 and 3. They're nice. wild, right? Yes. A 3 year old's probably wild. Yeah. Uh, I find these last three years, man, these babies are yeah. high, high, high energy. Mm -hmm. Three year olds, a boy or a girl? A boy. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get it. So you're just having trouble keeping up, I think. Yeah. And so enough is enough. Uh, you've seen other chiros or doctors or no, anything? No. You just dealing with it? Pain meds? No. Nothing? All right. And then why now? Um, you started watching some videos. Yeah, I just going. I just feel like um, I always put everybody first, so I'm like, no, I okay. my health is first. So, because she's the foundation, right, sir? Mm -hmm. Can you do me a favor, sir? Yes. Can you uncross your arms for me, please? I appreciate it. Yeah. It's just an energy thing. We I used to talk a lot about it on older videos. Um, okay, so from the fall, we have. Pain in the legs, weakness, yeah. numbness, tingling, anxiety, mm -hmm. trouble sleeping. How's your digestion? Is a little bit off? Yeah. Okay. All right. And now you're ready for you? Yes. It's okay. It's, it's her turn now, okay? Yeah. All right. So he's just going to spectate now. Okay. All right, cool. What else do I need to know? How were the pregnancies? Um... Normal vaginal births, C-sections? My first C-section was on um, the boy, the three-year-old. Why? Um, he was um, he was sideways. He breech? Didn't wanna, yeah, he was breech. Um, he didn't want to, <laughs> so they had to cut me open. Okay. What we find with breech, the reason I asked that, what we find is if there was any issues in pregnancy, um, we look at the foundation, especially if there was a breech, there's usually uh, rotational misalignment of the pelvis or sacrum. Mm -hmm. So we'll take a look at that for you, mm -hmm. okay? What else do I need to know about you? That's it. Alright, you ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. And you wanted to share your story? Yes, I did. You think there are other people out there saying the same stuff going on? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty and you know you've been watching, right? You've watched a few videos and uh, what's my take home message with everybody? You had this tailbone injury, we had a fall in the butt, whether it was three years ago or whether it was from childhood. And then the body starts to compensate and you start to get all these symptoms. Mm -hmm. And this is a good case to follow uh, because yes, I do see the tailbone injury. There's other stuff going on we'll talk about. 
Yeah. Let's get started. All right. You ready? Yes. So let's look at the overall presentation here, what's going on. Let's look at the overall posture, curves, and discs. And the first thing is, if we look at the posture, we're going to run a posture line from L5 straight up. That line should go through the neck here. And what it's showing us is she has a significant sway back, okay? And I even offset it a little bit forward on the top and it's still swayed back. So she carries the upper part of her building behind her foundation. And so these muscles are working overtime just to hold her up. So I know when you're sitting half an hour, hour, maybe less, you start to get tight across here. And then end of the day, everything is tight and stiff. We wake up in the morning, we're a little bit stiff, we get moving, we're a little bit okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's related to the posture. We're gonna now zoom in and we're gonna go into that tailbone and we can see a couple of things going on here. This is your sacrum. It should be a smooth arc. Okay, there can be a little variation along the way. You had a nice fall. This is coccyx, this is S5. There's a sharp, you can see it ends there and then it breaks down. Do you see that? Yeah. It should be a smooth curve, but we also have a previous tailbone injury around S2, S3. Now, from there, let's follow it up and let's look at the discs. So we know that's there. Let's look at it. Overall, your discs are good. I'm happy with that. Um, there is a little angulation of L5, which then 4 goes with it, 3 goes with it, 2 goes with it, 1 goes with it, 12 levels off. These discs are good, but the shape of it tells me a lot of this is compensation to what's happening in the tailbone. Okay? It levels off at 12. These discs are all good, okay? These discs are all good. Discs are good. I can't see right. I can see... The disc is good, that's good. I can't see T2, we'll look on the other x-ray. Um, when we get to the neck, you can see this reverse curve starting. So I know you pop and crack a lot in your neck as well. She needs to stop that. Two, right. three, four, five, six. It's starting at C7, and it's been there for a little bit. Could be a few years. When we look at the facet joints, this is the way I see it. You know, you see the facet joints, these should be level. The discs are good, but the shape is completely off. Question is, where is it starting from? So I'm looking a little closer at the facets. This one is binding a tiny bit in the front, but that's a compensation. This one is good, this one is good. It, you, it's a little bit binding right there. I don't know if you see what I'm showing you. I wanna make sure you see it. So this is a little bit closed here, and there's a little scar tissue in here compared. You see how these are all open? Yeah. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. That's starting at the base of the neck. And so two, three, four, five, six, seven. C7 is a potential. We need to look at the base of the neck. We have coccyx S5 we need to address as well. Let's go back to this x-ray now, and let's talk about your foundation. So the next thing is, let's look at the foundation. And when we look at the foundation, we see a couple of things. Uh, we have rotation of the pelvis, and I'm going to explain it. So P-I-I-N, it's gone, the left one is down, P-I, so the right one is up. They work in opposite. One goes up, the other goes down. One goes in, the other goes out. The shape of the SI joint, though, it's called an auricular surface, and it has a very particular shape. So when it misaligns or when it just moves, when it goes PI, posterior inferior, it naturally wants to go out based on the shape of the grooves. When it wants to go AS, it goes AS and IN. I'm referencing the dimple to the sacrum. Mm -hmm. When we see PIIN or ASEX, that's trauma. So was that from the tailbone here or it was something else? Probably way back when, mm -hmm. okay? Now, follow my process. So the left pelvis goes down and in. The sacrum, left pelvis goes down, turns in. The sacrum goes back, that's only one, but then it goes down two. That tells me the tailbone injury, then the whole thing goes down a little bit too. Two millimeter difference of the hips is fine. 
Um, adjusting the pelvis is not going to correct it. It's under seven millimeters. Adjustments will hold. There's no issue with that, okay? But that tells me there was an old tailbone injury, whether that was the one from the coccyx, I think it was something else. Mm. Okay, I think you had a previous couple of injuries, but whatever happened three years ago, that was the big one. And that's what th started throwing everything off. Yeah. One thing I'd like you to get checked out is your thyroid at some point. Get your blood work done, you need thyroid. Check, it's a finding I see. We have some calcification of the costochondral junctions and flailing of the ribs at the end. It's a finding that I've seen and was trained in. And 85%, 90% of the time, there's an underlying thyroid hiding, which can explain the fatigue, the overall body pain, difficulty losing weight, things like that, right? Low energy all the yeah. time. Okay. So I'd like you to get that tested, checked out. Guess what controls it neurologically? Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. As we go up, digestion is off. This is all undigested food in here. This is the Megan Blasi. We want to see a big, dark, half black circle here, which we don't. It's a little hazy. Um, we're probably going to need to talk about that a little bit more and talk about HCL supplementation, getting in some hydrochloric acid and getting the digestion working again. You've heard me talk about the HCL. I think it's important for you as well. Um, but here's what I want you to see. Look, so we've got a little curve to the left. Yeah. Then it comes back here to the left to right, then right to left, then left to right. This is all compensation to your foundation. Mm -hmm. All of this. Now let's get to the top. We have some uh, jaws off a little bit. You have jaw issues as well. Yeah. You want me to deal with that? Yeah. <laughs> and how about the septum? Um, sure. Breathing. Yeah. Snores. Sometimes. Difficulty breathing. Sometimes, yeah. When? Um. Uh, Seasonal. Yeah, seasonal for sure. Okay, you guys are near uh, mountains, desert. Um, where in the up like, north, it's up over by Bakersfield. So more, more dry up there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll figure that part out and talk about that as well. I know that's not the primary, but we'll take a look at it along the way. Okay. All right. Let's put this together now. The take-home message is foundation, left SI joint, um, upper cervically, if there's something there, we'll deal with it, but we have the base of the neck, okay? We don't need to be messing around mid-cervicals with you unless there's a significant amount of pressure there. We don't need to mess with that. And when we look over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is the area that controls digestion, but we said this is compensating for the basement. Let's get started. Let's go have a seat on the chair. I know you're holding a lot of stuff. It needs to come out today, madam. Let's, uh, <laughs> what? I'm like, hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. Stand up for me, please. Stand over here, please. Stand, turn around. I'm going to open the back of your gown. You're going to walk to the corner of the room. And we're going to see how the dimples. Oh, that's a knife handle hanging out. Oh, oh. ignore that. <laughs> I'm not gonna ignore it. Walk. He's telling me a story. Walk to the corner of the room and back. Keep walking. This is your walk. Um. Yeah. Walk. Normal. Normal walk. Walk. Okay. Just walk to the corner of the room. You can see all that inflammation in her body. She got the little sides, side, little side shuffle. I just feel like um, I walk like... Yeah. This is all inflammation and swelling. All of this is inflammation and swelling, okay? Walk uh, to the corner, please, and then we're going to test one thing out. She's very guarded in her walk. I want you to just look at my hand. Just come to my hand fast and give me a high five. Okay, back to the corner of the room. No. Have a seat. Starting at the base of the neck, and the first thing we're getting is 
15 points, C7, left side, 10 points, C7, left side, and up in the cabeza. You fell on your head a couple of times, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. C1 occiput, C7. She's in for a treat. Where are the kids? Uh, a mother in law. Got it. <laughs> T67, five points, left side. Do I want to ask what that is? Uh -uh. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's down in the low, low. You got to keep going. 10 points, S5. I, I, I don't know, dude. It's interesting. I don't want to guess. <laughs> and I'm not going to the other side. Head down, please. Let's uh, statically palpate. Static. Right there is where the inflammation is. Right there. Tender. This one or this one? That one. That one. Head down, please. ST9, that's the adrenals. That's the, that's the energy. Feet together, open and close your knees, slide forward a little bit, please. Feet together, open and close the knees, open and close. Right side only, please. When she does the right, the whole left is shifting from fixation of the left SI joint, left side only. When she does the left, the right is fine. Scoop back for me, please. Now, we got to go low. Five, tender. S1, tender. S2, yes. S3, yes. S4, no. S5, no. Okay, I'm going to be on the outside of the underwear now. I've got to go down in the sacrum, okay? Coccyx S5. S3, coccyx to S5, T9. Let's check the neck. Sit back for me, please. Center on the chair. Scoot to the left a little bit. You said you grew up here? Hmm? You grew up here? Where'd you grow up? Um. Paramount. Paramount, okay. Paramount Studios? <laughs> Paramount. So, you feel that, yes? Yes. And that one, right there. Yeah. So we have an upper cervical, we have a lower cervical. We're going to test it up based on divorce test. Divorce test, look up and in, in, put the neck in extension, isolating the lower cervical spine. Turn left, turn right. A little tighter on the left side, yes? Yeah. Head down, isolating the upper cervical. That's tighter. They're both tight. Question is, if I go down and to the left, is that worse? Or is it worse when I go back and to the left? No, the first one. So we need to do the occiput. Okay. So we're going to start off. Let's make a game plan for today, okay? Main thing is this foundation, but she got pressure in the occiput. Now, when there's pressure in the occiput, it can affect the whole spinal cord going down. So, and your left eye is a little bit smaller than your right eye. I'm noticing it now. You have trouble opening the eye? You get tired in the morning? I, like, yeah, I do. Um, I do, uh, like my eyesight, I, sometimes it gets blurry. They the left eye more or both? Mm, I think it's the left side. The left side. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do occiput first. Then I'm gonna set the coccyx. Then I'm gonna set the S3. Okay. Then I'm gonna have you walk. Then I'm gonna recheck the other stuff. Fair. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Sit back for me, please. Right hand up. <laughs> oh. 
people ask me if I do the Y strap. You know, the, uh -huh. oh, that's the G strap. <laughs> <laughs> Oxaput. Oxaput. P S L S. Being mindful, we don't want too much. She's pretty flexible, so we gotta find her lockout. Right there. <gasps> oh my god. Wow, that was crunchy. That was a hang on. Give it a second. From just that, I'd like you to walk. Tell me what's different. I, didn't, I couldn't even see better. <laughs> okay. Walk it out. Okay. You're gonna walk three times, okay? Keep your head straight in place, look straight out of the wall. I just wanna open the back of the gun, please, so we have something to compare. This is just after an occipital adjustment. So the dimples are moving different. You do feel that, right? Yeah. yeah. You're not doing the side hustle anymore. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, good. I feel lighter. Good. Keep walking. And the way we're going to do this coccyx and, and sacrum, where we, where we carefully. You keep walking. So we're gonna go left side down for the coccyx. Come over here, please. Left side down. Head over here, face me. There we go, head straight. Just like that. I'm down low, I'll be on the underwear, okay? Mm -hmm. I gotta roll you. Hold your wrist firm, please. There you go. There it is. I got you the whole way. Let it roll. Let it roll. Gotcha. Nice. Come over here, please. Let's get the rest of it over here. Eleven and three, huh? Oh yeah. Eleven year old girl. Yeah. <coughs> so she's like mom for him? She thinks she is. She thinks she's mom. She thinks she's the big boss. I don't know. Yeah. Slide up. God. Down a tiny bit. There you go. Love hurts. Bueno. Let's slide in a little bit. There you go. I'm going to be on the left side. <coughs> Sir, you can come help. Come. Because when I push, the legs want to open up. You're going to place, we got to work on that ankle too, there's a lot of instability. You're going to place your fingers on the side there, okay? okay. Slide up a little more. Look at the mus. There you go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Relax the hands forward. Palms up. Let's open the back. 
Get the game on place. As you're you know, check it out. I feel like all this, um, I don't know, energy is releasing, like all this, I don't know, it feels so light right now. Why not? Yes. Stuff is coming out. Let it come out. Most important thing when we're done here is to go for a walk, okay? Most important thing. Keep walking. Tell me. I just feel, I, I feel so relieved right now. Okay. One more time, please. It's a real thing, dude. Let it go. Three years. It took him a while to come down here, huh? It took him a while. Right? <laughs> it's okay, bro. I'm gonna have a one just in case you need one later, okay? <laughs> I, I feel so. I feel good. good. It took you a while to make it happen. Hopefully it's going to be worth it. You guys going to be here for a few days, man? <clears throat> if we need to be. Uh, today is Wednesday. I'm not in tomorrow, though. Friday. Saturday. Friday. Friday, Saturday. You guys follow up? Yeah. You go Friday, Saturday, I think. Okay. And I know this, this is bigger than just getting a crack. And I think uh, most people think it's just, oh, you just come in and crack some bones and... Oh, aha, feels good. It's a little bigger than that. And Dr. Gonsett had this saying, okay, there's a quote he had I want to share with everybody. Use boys don't know the power of the adjustment. And what he meant by that, well, everyone has their interpretation. What I get from that, use boys. He called everybody use boys. Even the girls he called use boys. And what he meant is we don't know... When there's pressure, how it can affect so much the human body and the person's life. And when you release that with a specific adjustment, what happens? All this pressure is released, all this tension, all this trauma. But it goes bigger than that. Then that person gets on with their life. They share their story. It goes on to the next one and the next one and the next one. And we've been fortunate to do this with social media. Back then, it was all word of mouth. Yeah. And it was the power of the adjustment and how powerful, not a manipulation, not a crack, an adjustment. Okay? And, you know, people traveling three hours, four hours. You know, I'm sure there was a lot of anxiety this week building up to this trip to get out here. I'm trying to get to make it happen. I know. And I know it's not easy. You know what's really cool right now? Her face is lighting me up. It's so cool. <laughs> you're going to see it on, on your video, you're going to see it. It's okay. lightning. <laughs> so this is a big thing and you're going to have soreness along the way. That's just part of it, okay? Um, I would suggest just maybe Friday, Saturday, we have a couple of follow-ups then. Um, in the meantime, uh, I'll give you your homework, okay? But before that, i got to scope you make sure you're clear. Okay. Let's check it out. Very cool. Awesome. Ah, look at that. Completely different, dude. Come here, check this out. Mira. You see or you don't see? What's she doing? <laughs> you see? Yeah. The swelling? I know. Feel it. You feel it. You been I'm sure you felt it before. Yeah, I massage her all the time. <laughs> right? Good stuff. Let's take a look and see. Occiput. Occiput is clear. That cleared up your C7 for today, okay? Okay. Maybe I, I, I'm still going to probably work on it. Not today, though. That even cleared up the 6, so I'm not messing with that either. Oh, clear. A little heat, but clear. Check this out now. Let's just re motion it back toward me. Mira, numero cinco. Good? Yes. Yeah. Number one, good. Yeah. Number two, good. Yeah. Number three, good. Yes. 
Number four. Good? Uh, yeah. This one's going to be a little tender. Oh, yeah, it is. But it's moving. Yeah. Not as sharp. No. All the way back, as far as you can. Go, 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 five. Go, 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 one. Go, 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 two. Three. You do it. I'm just holding. Good. All the way. Bueno? I went. Good? Good. Let's tune up the rest now. Ears. Shoulders. Let me do it. Don't help this. On your back. Let's work on our ankles. We're going to do the talus. AS talus. Medial tilt. We won't cut the cut. Toes. Okay, walk it off one more time, please. Have a seat. I'm going to work on her jaw. We'll save the nose for the next visit. Bueno? Have a seat. All the way back. Look up. Slowly open, open, open. Right side deviates. That's the one we need to work on. Ow! You better watch that left hook on me, okay? You better watch the ball me. Sit back. If anything is too much, you just raise the hand and tell me to and I'll stop, okay? Okay. Open all the way. We're doing a right AITMJ. Open, open, open. And we're just going to guide it back in. Open. <laughs> Slowly close. Uh. There you go. Open, open, close, open again, different? Yeah. <laughs> now the buff and polish. <laughs> Go home, wash wax. <laughs> Questions and anything I found or did today? Stand over here, please. Questions? Squeeze my hand. Please. Elbow. I'm not going to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thanks. Squeeze. Well, oh, okay. oh. Okay. Okay, what? All right. All right. You fixed it. <laughs> Doing good. Welcome to the office. Thank you. You're welcome. Sir. Thank you very much.